Spin me right round, baby, right round, like a record, baby, right round, round, round. Okay, I couldn't help myself. <laughs> Hi, tarot babes, it's Ethany, and today I'm sharing with you a new tarot spread that I've created for those times that you feel like you're being spun right round and you want to get off the carousel of drama that we sometimes find ourselves on. So it could be a total carousel of drama that you're having with a situation, uh, with a friend at work. It could be that you feel like you're doing the same shit over and over and over again. Um, and you don't know what you can do to kind of get off and get out and get on with your life. Um, not only does this shit get old quick, but it can be super frustrating when we don't know what else to do to shift it. So... This is for you. Um, this is really great if you've heard yourself saying things like, I feel like I'm dating the same people all the time, or the same kind of people keep stabbing me in the back, or I keep finding myself in the same situations. People keep doing this to me, or I keep doing this to myself, and I don't know why this keeps happening. Well, my little tarot sexy pants, this is for you. So this is a um, break the cycle tarot spread. I am going to switch cameras in a minute and go through the tarot spread with you and give you a sample reading as always so you can see it in actual action. So you want to crack out your deck when you're um, working with this spread and you want to focus your mind on the carousel that you're on or the, the cycle that you're finding yourself experiencing um, and really focusing on that experience on that uh, the consistent hamster wheel. It's even better if you say an affirmation before you cut the deck or while you're shuffling. Um, something really empowering like, I'm officially done with this shit. <laughs> I like to swear. Um, today, I want to know what is happening, why it's happening, and more importantly, how I can stop the cycle. And I pop that little sassy um, uh, affirmation over at ethony.com in the blog post. So you can use that while you're shuffling, depending on how you like to actually shuffle, whether you like to focus on the situation or you like to give yourself a mantra, however you choose to do that. So now that you've got your deck ready and you know what you want to break away from, let's uh, switch the camera and see this spread in action. Okay, so now we're going to, to get this break the cycle. Tarot spread. A whirly whirly, a little spin around. So I'm just going to do one quick. So remembering to do your... Um, your affirmation or thinking about the cycle or the situation that you feel that you're repeating while you're shuffling the deck um, and giving yourself the time to to focus on that and then however you choose to cut your cards okay and the first card is what belief is perpetuating this cycle and we have the seven of pentacles and this is reaping what you sow <laughs> um, this is taking a good hard look at the castle you've built yourself um, and realizing that you are the one who's planted the seeds you are the one who has tended the garden you were the one who is also able to pull the weeds out so what belief is perpetuating this cycle is this, I would almost say in this position it's kind of self-destructive um, and that you're maybe overanalyzing things too much or taking a, seeing this card too, she's, and in the right of weight, um, they're kind of like, they're looking at the pentacles, they're not kind of getting their hands dirty, so it's like it's time to get your hands dirty and really get in there to change, change things, no more being a bystander and just looking on, um, time to disrupt it so what lessons am I meant to be learning and we have the ace of swords so there's a real shift in um, 
the words we're using, the way we're speaking about ourselves and the way we're speaking about others, um, the ideas that we have, the beliefs and ideas that we have around that are really limiting um, our beliefs and uh, sorry, limiting our experiences and causing the, the roundabout to keep going. And the power of the word, like the Ace of Swords is the potential of our words. So when this is in what lesson am I meant to be learning? This is like you're meant to be learning how to cut through the shit because all swords have power to be able to cut things down or protect things. To cut through the crap and to use your words, your inspirations, your ideas wisely. The third one is what is likely to happen if I keep this shit up <laughs> and we have the page of cups and the page of cups for me in my um, the tarot archetypes is the empath and in this position for this reading I would say that this card is like going to be emotional overload um, going to keep picking everything up from everyone it's going to impact your emotions it's going to you know pull you under um, so it's a really good time to knock it off um, and not keep this shit up because all it's going to do is drown you. Um, and the pages, if you look at it in this perspective, because as we know, every tarot card has more than one layer of meaning. Um, but if you look at it from the perspective of what's likely to happen if you keep this up, um, this really speaks to me of the um, immaturity that the pages can have. Because uh, the pages can be quite immature um, and being emotionally immature. So this could keep you stunted in a place of emotional immaturity. And that's not necessarily a great place to be. Number four is what needs to happen to break the cycle. Two of Pentacles. So becoming the dancer, being work-life balance. So... Maybe there's been too much stock in a particular focus and not enough in the other. So maybe the pendulum doesn't need to be swung completely the other way, which can happen when we're looking at breaking cycles. But we actually need to look at balance and how to juggle some things and how to bring in some more holistic energy into our lives instead of going balls to the wall um, one way or another. Uh, because that can certainly just lead us to more of the same. Um, so looking at some, some balance there. What do I need to free and release? And of course, we've got judgment. So maybe we're in this cycle because we're being judgy McJudges and pants. Uh, we're the side of judge sauce and a large judge fries. Um, yeah, we need to we need to release and free our judgments and maybe look at things from a different perspective, which really harkens back to this Ace of Swords with that the power of our words and cutting through the crap and really calling ourselves on our shit. Um, and then judgment is also about freeing ourselves. Well, judgment is about the call, the clarion call, like the call to what is our real purpose. And sometimes we get in these cycles and we get on these carousels because we like the drama um, and we would much rather be dealing with surface stuff than really what our real work in the world and what is really going on um, so judgment here what I need to free and release is like okay enough with this shit you've got more important things to be going that is going on in your life that you could be doing and you could be achieving and you're really limiting yourself by just enabling this crap to keep on going so it's time to stop getting being so invested in the drama and start moving on to something um, um, a little a little deeper um, for sure. Um, and then the final card, what should you no longer accept as truth? And we have the Emperor. So maybe the rules need to be broken. Maybe you need to look at what are the the things that you need to go in and break. Um, maybe you need to not, maybe you need to make your own game. Maybe you need to make your own rules. Um, maybe you need to look at strategy better. You're not thinking things, um, so too, too far ahead. 
This is also a bit of a stubborn card or a hot-headed card. It can be with that Aries energy. So maybe you know bashing your head against a brick wall is not a great way. The Emperor is a leader, um, and you can be a leader, and you don't have to follow people that you don't want to. And you need to look at how you can make the rules work for you and not be beholden to somebody else's truth. Um, so... Okay, so that is the spread in action and to give you an idea of um, the reading as it could be for you. Um, I'd love to see if you use this spread um, and thank you as always for watching.